I'm Camilla. I live in Jølster in Western Norway and I'm the founder of Vestavin and a producer of local fruit wines. It started with this idea that I'm of this idea of utilizing the resources and trying to do something new and trying to explore and I for some reason I got really curious about fruit wine. So I borrowed a book from my aunt, Wine Making for Beginners. <laughs> and I and I um, started exploring some of those recipes. Uh, what I'm doing now is my adaptation and my way of kind of building upon that and see, okay, what else can we do? What else, how else can I utilize all the different resources that are available here and that people aren't really making use of? There's a saying in Norwegian, I don't know if there's an equivalent in English, but to make gold from grey rock. It's like to turn something without value into something of value. Doing something like this, you really have to be comfortable just not knowing how to do that stuff because there are so many new things and you have no clue and you just have to you just have to figure it out as you go there's nothing in my educational background that equips me to do what I'm doing now <laughs> so it's all learning by doing I think a lot of people are really out of touch with the satisfaction you get from actually working with your hands and seeing the result of what you're doing and and for me being able to swap between trying to figure out all the different things and then just doing working with my hands letting my mind just flows and yeah it's some, there's something really nice there so I think more people should do it Like before I started Vestavin as a business, I'd had the idea for a few years, but in, in 2018, I got this like serious infection that uh, I realized after that I was, um, it basically almost killed me. I, it, was, it was quite serious. And after that, like when I realized how, how precarious my situation had been, it changed my perception of risk and safety. You know, I don't want to be like a graveyard for good ideas. It felt much riskier to not try than to try and potentially fail. When I bought this farm, it hadn't been farmed for years because it doesn't really make sense to farm these fairly small patches of steep slopes in a conventional farming setting today. So part of what I want to do is to find a way to make these slopes come alive again. It's a major challenge to find ways of keeping these steep little farms alive and that's part of what I'm trying to do. So I think the main thing for me working with these fruit wines is to showcase what these raw materials can become, what these ingredients have to offer. And I think it's very unfair to the red currant to measure it um, by the criteria of the grape. Each ingredient has to come with its own rules and with its own criteria, with its own premise. And then it's also deeply personal, because once you're there with your, with your cider or your fruit wine or whatever you're making, in the end, as a winemaker, it's you who have to make all the large and small decisions. So the final product is 
it has traces of you or your fingerprint all over it. Um, and then it's you, it's your palette, it's your preference that shapes the finished product as well. I have to make things that I love, first of all, and then I'll just hope other people find it intriguing as well. Thank you.